Hello, hello, YouTube. That's a new one. I don't know what that moment's active thing is. Oh, wait. Mm. Our controller. See if it. I don't think I've tried to connect the controller since updating everything. So I don't know if my Bluetooth works. Um, right, pause record. Okay. Uh, <laughs> check it, get, get, get him. Uh, wait, is there? Oh, no, it's just this. Okay. I start click on that now. Oh, I can't read what that says. Think, think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. Leaving already? I'm oh, sorry, did I wake you up? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? I'm tired. Always tired. Just like yesterday. Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover... Oh, this is where I miss... This is a game where I mispronounce every single thing. Eat... Idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just idli, it's very easy. It'll take me too long, Benba. Don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Fine. I'll make it then. Wait, five minutes. But really, it's fine. No, no, no. Need to make lunch for myself anyways. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Oh, already with the sad music, we're three minutes into the game. Oh, here's a title card. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although, should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make it lists are never as soft as hers. They would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. Yeah, I should just make them her way today. Hmm. Recipe's still readable, that is. Oh. Am I going to get DMCA? Okay, the the plate, the towel. Why does that book look like they use it as a shield? <laughs> it's pretty battered. Maybe? I don't know. We have to, we'll keep playing. We'll find out. Uh, towel, cooker, ingredients, water, batter. Holes to let steam through. These also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to do, do something or it'll leak. Range plates so steam can cook better properly. Not made easily with these kind of plates before. The only difference from mine seemed to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure. We're playing Venba, Misfit. But Ama swears this method makes the at least a lot softer. No, what? It's cooking. No point putting a plate without batter on the cooker. 
Ah. Um, wait. Uh, about your list. How is it made? These are a breakfast staple. They ask so little of you, but they give you so much back. Simply grind rice and some fermented lentils for that cloudy batter, and steam it to make those soft, fluffy cakes. Anyone can make it, it's so easy. Except for my husband, I guess. Although I've never made it with my mother's cooker. So this might be a challenge. Okay, so do I... What's that? Uh, and then we need more bet. And then... Ooh, actually, I wonder if I... Well... Huh. I don't think I should cover the batter with the towel. Okay. Uh, uh, ignore me, though. Is this the lid? They're steam cooked, so it needs water. You, you right. Should stack all three plates. Before. Oh, I didn't realize there was a third plate. That's my B. That's my B. Um. Ah, oh, shoot. Can I do water first? Oh, yeah. You just cook. Let them cook. Okay, so that. And then. Like that. And then that. We got this. We got this. All right, let's see how it turns out. Uh, this should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Uh, it seems the batter leaked through the plate holes and spilled everywhere. Let's try again. Well, that's probably what the towel's for, right? I'm gonna have a batter like this. Batter leaked through the tiny holes. I should try something different. Oh, uh, I put the towel on the thing. Like a dot. That makes sense. Yeah. Put a towel and then do that. Husband's gonna be late for work, dude. You're gonna be late for school. Maybe even as a teacher. All right, let's see how it turns out. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. That's done. Oh, it does look good. But Chutney successfully made it. Oh, wow, you even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard, though. I really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out Idlis. But I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. Not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Oh, I am going to butcher this name, Pavalon. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. 
You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave. Uh, what will I do for lunch? I still have to cook. It's exhausting and sick as I am. You just wouldn't have seen it. I don't have a coffee machine here to survive on either. It's so hard for you to cook, even on days like this. You're right. Sorry. Okay, well, I didn't want to make him feel bad. Should you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full-time. Uh, unless the school gives you more shifts, my boss changes his mind. It's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know, there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again in my old job. There's nothing really keeping us here. That'd be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. I'm sure all I need is some sleep. Or your preggers! You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Why the... She's towel. Three doctors. Could you imagine? <laughs> this must be fiction. They're in Canada. Imagine. Benba, are you home? I should government to care about public health. What'd the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What's with you? Well, hell, speaking of miracles, you never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Okay. Eat this again? Gone into you. Now there's three faces. Oh, look at the little BB one. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. Raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive, though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. Can't provide everything our other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. Then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. What do you think, Vemba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Avalon, don't worry. I'm sure they'll turn out just fine. Can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Oh, I don't know what that says. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. Nineteen ninety four. Yeah, I remember it well. I remember it well, Misfit. My name is Pavalon, sir. Pavalon, sir. Kevin! Where did you run off to? I forget. I didn't track what that first year was, so I don't know how long it's been. 10.5 months of it? Solid. 
Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir. Don't have time to play, Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. With them pants. Yes, sir. I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir. Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there. Don't run. There it goes. Come back here. This has become a routine now. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Hey, oh, that towel is so dirty, da. Okay, here, wear this shirt, Kana. No. That's right, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. Oh, wait. Ooh, I forgot to update my stream stuff. Uh, that might be okay. Where did the king go? There it is. Just take me out of probation for me. I'm driven, self star, and quick learner, sir. That's not kind of hurry up now. I don't wanna. You can tell me, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Oh, so wait. When the text is yellow, they're speaking in English, and when it's white, they're speaking in what did they say, Tamil? I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. Uh, I didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory store. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. Well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. Then half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. I can understand those shows. Maybe I can understand these people, too. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tom Hill at this rate. Do you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speaking Tamil, da. What's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. That's why we picked it. We thought it'd be easy on you growing up here. Your father and I spent months agonizing over so many other names. It's only one letter different. Why is it so hard for your friends to say it? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. He's brighter than us, Benba. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know he aced yesterday's English quiz? He did? Really? Good job. You should celebrate Dakana. Dakana. Well, what do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Uh, can we order pizza? Tell me what happened. Uh, I want pizza. How about we make something at home? Like perota. Dosa? Idiapam? Ghee dosa? Biryani? Kari dosa? No, I'm tired of all these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. I eat pizza all the time. Kevin. Have you ever had putu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? 
Yeah, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. Looks just like a rocket launcher. Well, it does? Yeah. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. Does it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? Alright, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Ama has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? Make the flower first, da. Five hundred grams of rice, water. Blend five hundred grams of rice. Separate fine rice from chunks. Chunks. Combine five hundred grams of wine, uh, fine rice with water. Okay. All right. Let's make some flour. We get to the rocket bar. Soon, that be patient. Rice. Blended rice. Um, just shake the save over the towel to catch everything. Uh, Well, this piece says adding flour to the rice is the final step. Think this is right? No, this is way too runny. Must have added less than 500 grams of rice. Find a way to use all of it. this to the water directly. It'll become chunky. We need to find another way to use it. I'm so smart. Okay. I think this is perfect. I just feel like flour, even though there's so much water. To mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like a slightly wet sand. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Come on, when will we get to the rocket? What is that? Flour, coconut, four tablespoons something, three tablespoons coconut layers as far from each other as possible. Water, coconut, coconut, no. Water. Water, flour, coconut, water, flour, coconut. That's straightforward. And some of the parts so that water steams and cooks what's above. The part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. In what order? Coconut can crumble easily. Oh. Oh, water goes in the bottom part. Oh. 
Is this the bottom part? Okay, so that's... Okay. Coconut is far... So we should probably start coconut, then flower, flower, coconut, flower, flower, coconut. Coconut. It's lunchtime, Kevin. I do it? Wow. Whoa, like it was just a complete one recipe without messing up. Lunch puto. That was so cool. I can't believe it didn't fall. Mama. Can we do that again? I will offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. You sleep? I think so. Kevin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview. Another dead end? Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh. I think you should take that sales job at his company. It's all about who you know here, and we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. Y even here, we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. You know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But no, honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. And the way you sold Kevin on the Putu today, you're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? It's harder here. What's that have to do with Kevin? I just feel that there's a wall between me and my class can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. I feel the same wall growing around Kevin. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kevin? It just feels like he's growing further away from us. The other day he told me he wished he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? A five-year-old takes English tests. Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. It's more than just that. I say as though my son didn't just turn five. Maybe this kid's like getting close to six. Maybe he's already started kindergarten or whatever the Canadian equivalent is. He's not interested in anything we do. I thought I could at least get him to listen to music or watch some movies from back home. You know, I'd rather watch Home Alone for the hundredth time. I don't know. I'm worried. These things bother me too, but we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. It also comes with its own culture, language, values can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yeah, maybe. 
It's just scary. Don't worry, Vemba. He'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He is our child. How else will he turn out? I wonder how long this game is. Like, I wonder if I can beat it in a night. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. Oh, one year later. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavalon. He's my dad. P A A V A L A N. It says Appa's not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? I wonder if that means there's an accent. Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? I wonder if he usually leaves with anybody. Oh, did I lose chat? Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? It says no, dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. It says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. She says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. Why are we walking through the park, Hama? You think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. Decided to walk home from the office. It should be through here. The lady said Appa left at 5. What's taking him so long? You think he went somewhere else first? Where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kana. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kana. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? You think something happened to him? No, no, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But, only if you can ask him to me. Okay. Ooh, okay, I can do that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Apple's very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak to me when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did you like his job then? Oh, yes. He loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something's bothering him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. So, how did you and Appa meet? You know I'm named after a type of poem, right? Yes, Appa told me. A Vemba is a kind of like a haiku. It's kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay. So we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break. He was the shabbiest person I'd ever seen. It looked like he'd just woken up. Was it Appa? Yes. Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine, but it wasn't an article. It was a poem. It was a Vemba, a gorgeous one too. It's about the school, the students, our protests. And it was about me. Somehow people could ignore our protests, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protests school was forced to change and I was smitten
Why'd you move here? It wasn't an easy choice. Avalon wanted to be with me. I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. A lot of people took issue with us being together. And they decided to make it our problem. And it's getting really hard to deal with it, so... We gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Mama, I see Appa. With another woman. I keep thinking it's either another woman or he's dead. I don't know which is going to be sadder. Spelled his name wrong. Oh, you get jumped. Isn't this a cooking game? This is what the trailer looked like. Here, the head. Complete the park level. Or off the head. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. 2006, so this is 11 years later? I don't need to feel sad. He's 17 now? Oh, she's old. They're both old. He never got new glasses. They're just taped up. It's been 11 years. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions, too. Um, someone's cutting onions up in here. I was just hair in my face. What's going on with my hair? All right, I came here for a good time, not a sad time. What's going... Oh, no, that's way worse. Good enough. That's bad. But it's good enough. You can shove everything you need? Yes, thanks, pal. I'll go help Kevin pack. I was really expecting it to say Kevin. Instead of Kevin. Oh, what are we making? Whoa! This one, this is, there's a lot in this one. Well, okay, this doesn't tell me anything. This was piece completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. Never made it that way before. But I've seen Ama make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Remember, add all these first. Leaves. So expensive. Why are you going through all this trouble? It's okay, D. It's a big thing to leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. These, right? All right, and these, and these, and these. So we do that first, and a stick, and fennel. Or okay, so we got leaves. And cloves, and fennel, and cardamom. I get tired of how great Rosa's whole spices smell. I wish you could see how much these cost here. You lose your mind over these prices. The logic to the order, you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but 
ingredients you add first will fry more in the oil than the one you add next. If I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. Remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. Okay, so onions first. And then chilies. And then tomatoes. Oh, the ginger garlic paste. I don't know, doing it this way. I must have done something wrong. Let me try again. Of course, the tomatoes go in last. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe, Pogama. I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now, and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. He ever does. Well, the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Then add water and let it reduce. I'm not going to remember all this. Don't worry, I've added all these instructions for the recipe book I gave you. And the recipe's gone, but I remember it anyways, because I'm a good daughter. Uh, Turmeric. Masala. Beef. Water. This smells divine. We just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start the layering. Gravy is done. All that's left is the biryani. If I can finish it before Kevin leaves. Oh, that looks so good. Already? What we got? What we got? Uh, ingredients. One, two, one, two, three. Once done, let it sit in low flame for 30 minutes. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. One, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. But in what order? I can try to remember. Let's add all these together on top of the rice layer. That's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Amma, oh, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Kana. It's just so far away. Never went back, didn't they? Okay, so rice is first. Then something else. Then rice again. Then something else. So... Rice. And then... Two, one, two, three. This is not right. Okay, it must it must be gee. Look at all those fantastic emotes. So one, two, one. Shit. Hot off to presses. Those are so good, dude. Cashew? <laughs> it's a pretty good one. Okay. 
So wait, one, two, one, two, three, I think. I think this is right. Just have to cover it with the lid now. Yeah, I think this is it. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. Rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. Can't wait. Should be good now. Looks amazing. I've never had Indian food. And all the spices and stuff they use, it always sounds fantastic. Look at that. Oh, look at our boy. How is it? Oh, so good. It's pretty damn good. Beef really is the best. Oh, uh, it's really good, Ama. I'm glad. Won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. I know it's like traditional for them to eat with their hands I, I i can't stand messy hands it would i could not do it unless i was like at someone's house and i was going to get i was going to like deeply offend them i i would need i would need some utensils plus like what if it's hot stop being so dramatic i'm just moving out for university Kanamo will miss you. You packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Well, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh. This way you and Appa won't have to drive all day. Uh, I was looking forward to the drive. We could all spend some time together before we send you off. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. Last chance for us to annoy you with unsolicited advice. Um, and that would be nice. But I think it's just easier this way. Can this game not? You can always annoy me another time. Okay, Connor, sure. Just really not a fan of the seasonings. Fuck this kid. Look, yes, but as a teenager, I was a piece of shit too. Still am, but like, gosh, teenage me was awful. Think I have the meat pieces? Maybe we can drive there next week, drop off some food? I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? Oh, why? I packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some potis, pickles, and sweets. Should give all the pieces to Gavin? Oh, I can take that in the car. I can't take that in the car. Why not? In fact, for your friends too, you can all eat. They don't want biryani. The whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. Don't want any of it? I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask, but what will you even eat there? I don't know. Cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. I'm just eating kuska here. It's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. Said no, Ama. Done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like Little India anymore. Just want to be normal. For once. Kana. The language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Captain. 
don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. It's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It'd be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Why'd we even move here? Should've just stayed in India. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's just... No need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit, uh, I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week, too. So please try not to worry. Okay? Okay. Right? Is that them? Yes, I think so. That girl. I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. There he goes. Suppose it's good that he's so independent. And makes his own choices, even if they are so... Incorrect. <laughs> Damn, got him. Choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Till then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. Aw. I will offer you your secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Aw. Their bed's all, like, empty now. Haven't reached the university? Did he text or call yet? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe, maybe he hasn't got... No, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Uh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he's a lot going on there. Yeah, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. Maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Papalong. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh. You made that up. Nothing more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin. That's what being a parent is, I suppose. Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, and I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me, and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote, too. All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read to me a literature yet, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. After that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here, you don't get to teach here. Hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. You're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you? My anger's going to be anything but fleeting. Come on. I know how much you miss home. Should be happier back there? I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes. Maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. Home is where you two are.
Next scene. Dad is dead. Son has not reached out in years. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. 2014. This is... Three years later, I think. No! Damn it. Throw it out. Oh, he's reaching out. More fun cooking mini games. <laughs> oh, a cooking sim. <laughs> I did. I didn't know we were all gonna collectively cry. Okay. didn't know there's n there was no trigger warnings <laughs> good night crystal thank you for hanging out I hope you have a great rest of your night <laughs> yeah, just in time. Welcome back, Dust. What are these bunion-looking things? I don't know what they are yet, but I can almost read what that says. But the color and shape? No, oh, hydrate. Gotta fill up the tear ducts. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. Um, whoop, sorry. This is like, um, like, um, uh, can't even, isn't there a pan like this for like donuts? Like donut holes? I feel like I have like a mini donut maker that looks a lot like this pan. What time? You just go on from stupid time? <laughs> Rude. But yes. <laughs> uh huh. So I feel like I could have definitely just used the mouse and keyboard for this, but whatever. I'll forgive you this time. Oh, you know, not do not donuts. What I was thinking of was uh, okonomiyaki. Super different. Super different. But that's what I'm thinking of. There is, is it falafel? <laughs> Got he. Thank you for the 10 bits. Slice. Now it has gills. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that felt really graphic. Too high for this. Not high enough for this.
each. And then our kid shows up and is like, hey, let's order some pizza. And I have to throat punch him. I'm the kiff. Uh, I hate typing on your phone too, dude. Oh yeah, throw in some MSG, dude. Stop! <laughs> Coconut. That's rough, buddy. Oh. Oh. oh, that looks good. Yeah, throw the coconut in there. And, and some of this. And some of that. Some of this. I bet we'll go after this stuff now. Yeah, we can throw that in there too. I'm a I'm a chef. I don't know what any of these dishes are. Oh it's <laughs> that scared me for some reason. It's chicken, I think. For a second, I thought Bane was here, hit me with a newt newt. Not the slow zoom on the chicken. The amount of hand washing I do when I cook, I couldn't just be tasting it with my hand, dude. Arambakalam. Make a dinner. I, I are. I are playing on controller. Not zooming. I always be. Oh, he never showed up! Dust. Mm. Oh man, thank you so much. I have a lot of plans today, but I think I can stop by for a bit later. Oh, let's go all the way to the top, guys. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good morning, Ama. Good night, Kevin. Good night, Ama. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. You have a great day. Happy birthday, Ama. Thank you. Any fun plans today? Nothing, Kana. Might go to Hoppers today. They give two times points today. Oh, cool. Good morning, Kevin. Happy New Year, Kevin. Happy New Year, Ama. What plans today? Might see some friends. What about you? This is her son, dude. Not much gonna come home when you have some time. It'll be nice to see you. Oh, not today, Alma. Maybe another day. Okay, no problem. Good night. Me. Mom. Good morning, Alma. I saw this and remind me of you, lol. Oh, uh, we'll watch. Who are these people, Kano? Your friends? I just want someone. I care about your day, Des. Tell me about your. D d tell me about. Tell, tell, tell me about your day, Des. No, Ama. It's just a me, Mama. Never mind. How are you? Good, Kana. How are you? Had lunch? I'm good, Ama. Good night, Calvin. Good night, Ama. Good morning. 
Have a great day. Good night. Good morning. Have a great day. Good night. Good morning. Have a great day. Good night. Oh, I didn't even text her on Valentine's Day. Kana. It's Appa's anniversary today. He died the day after Valentine's Day? Bro. <laughs> Didn't go to sleep until 10 a.m.? Why? He's... Call Sita Patti if you have time today. Hi, Amma. Sure, will do. How are you feeling today? Fine. I'm gaming, dude. Love that for you. Um, have a great day. Good morning. Good night. Have a great day. Good night. Good morning. Have a great day. Good night. Good night, Amma. Good morning. Oh, look at the little elephants. Where are you getting these stickers? It's a free app. I'll share it with you. No, no, it's okay. I was just asking. Oh, okay. Good night. Aw. I'm sorry. This might not be the best game for you to watch then. It's, it's, it got, it's Saiyan. Akana, happy birthday. If you're free today, can you come home today? It's been so long since the... That's rough, buddy. Toki. I'll cook your favorite. Hi, Mom. Thank you so much. Sure, Mom. I have lots of plans today, but I think I could stop by for a bit later tonight. Super. Sorry, Mom. Something came up last minute. I can't make it tonight. Spent all day cooking for him. I do too. I too do. I do too too too. Dest. Nar. <laughs> Can we inform you that your application for a second or two? Uh, hey! At least she got the teacher position. Silicon heartbreak. Read all the text in Vimba's phone. Great. At one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings. Bachelor of Arts. Are we playing as the sun now? Coven? Did okay, Vimba cool, uh Did Vimba die? Not usually hung inside the house. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to do Shicky. some fighting. Thank you for the raid, Shicky. How are you? How is Lethal Company? I mean, I, I, I'm trying to pull it up as a thing. Shicky yeah, is there and he is parked by the lake in Santa Fe. If you drive out there to the lake 80 miles outside of Santa Fe, you will find him parked oh, I love you, B. I love you, too. Outside of Santa Fe. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How are you? How is, how is stream? How is Lethal Company? Did you win? Did you make all the money? Uh... <laughs> we, uh... We finished Buddy Sim and moved on to Venba and now we're all crying. Sleepy Boy Lethal was definitely fun. It's certainly overstimulating. Oh, I get that. Doing pretty good. Um... I'm crying on the inside, uh, but that's okay. My dad just liked to hang it inside. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just need something unique and interesting here. Kill, how are you? I wait for the school lunch scene. I was thinking it'd be cool if it was like a super diverse table of kids and they all shared food from their different cultures. What do you think Priya's lunch should be? Chicken tikka, 
spicy vindaloo maybe to me so probably none of those what if we show her eating nothing like I would bring back my lunch a lot lol I was too embarrassed to eat it at school M maybe we can touch upon that Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. Just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represent Toronto. You must have a favorite dish your mom made or something, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even open the lid. Oh, jeez. Uh... I get worse. Well, wait, we're celebrating my single look with both of Ah, oh, God. Dang it, Kevin. I was reading that. I mean, I do that all the time. Blushy. Hello, hello. How are you tonight? Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. A load of pish. Now we're going all the way to the top. Again, again. <laughs> How the fuck did me and you just say that at the exact same time? Oh, God, same brain length. Oh, web length. Web length. Yeah. Same brain length. <laughs> same brain length. <laughs> They're not going for them so worn out. If you have a wonderful rest of your stream, I'm going to be in your time. What? Time zone. Again, again. again. <laughs> That's awesome, Shooky. Get some good sleep. Thank you for the raid. Have a good night. Webblem. Same brand mine. Really shot brain. Why did I replay? That's a great question. You know what I mean. Overachieving. Same brain length. Night night, Shooky. Everyone say good night to Shooky. Same brain length, dude. Bushy, how are you tonight? Kale, how are you tonight? I should make that as a quote. I should make that as a shirt, dude. Or a hat. Tired? Go to sleep. I ask if you had any cool references for set designers as they design Prius home. They can do their own research for sure, but maybe there's something cool you have in your house. Some potentially obscure. Uh, oh, man. You've seen my apartment. It's all movie posters and games. It'd be something you remember growing up with your parents, right? Yeah, actually, my mom left me a box of stuff before she left it. Oh, she went back to India. Good for her. Her stupid son wasn't going to do anything. Read all the texts of Kevin's phone. Doom scroll. I'm going to have tons of fun on Lethal. Nice, I love that. I haven't played Lethal Company in like a month or two. If I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. Oh, she patched it. I believe Alma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. Looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. Can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Ooh, Idlis. Made new friends. Oh, that's awesome. Is Putu? I remember making this with Alma and Appa. That was fun. Biryani, of course. Appa's favorite. Not too cozy kulambu. Like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. Only thing I could eat without throwing up. Been around five then? Still remember the taste, the smell, the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. Kirko was whistling. Alma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. Wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. How helpful! She's drawn cute pictures of the ingredients needed. 
Yeah, I'll go pick this up first, and then I can start putting it together. Oh, I just need to bot tamarind paste. Uh, okay, put the stuff in the water. And then do something with it. And then you got it. Maybe strain it. Let me read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. It looks like I have to mix the tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Okay, so... Ah, uh, fudge. Uh, water. Tamarind. Mix. Water really changed color. Can add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extractor water. It's sad that there's no music in this part of the game because I'm almost the one who used to play it. Uh, why did you have to point that out? <laughs> I was happy to just be like, oh, we're cooking again. <laughs> this game is making me sad, dude. Find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. But that sieve, may mayhaps. Mm, the way you pour that would be... whatever. A dollop of Daisy, how are you? How's your night? Water doesn't really change the color that much anymore. I think I've gotten everything I can from the tamarind. Let me add it to the other bowl and see. That's as much as I'm going to get, I think. What this means the tamarind water is ready? Oh, and the next thing. Could I play this game yesterday and it nearly made me cry? No. There, there's been a couple. I can't read any of this. Yeah, well, there's no diagrams in this one. My Tamil isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully. Yeah, I can do it step by step. Yeah, I can make out a few of these words. There's, a, there's been a couple moments so far where uh, I've gotten a little close to getting teary-eyed, but. Persevere. Toast both the grains first. Nice. Let's figure out the missing parts. And we can go step by step. Although I don't really see any grains. Mistranslate something? Mmm. Shallots. Cumin. Salt. Some powder. Mustard seed. Chiles. Cumin. Tomatoes, garlic, and ginger. Both the... Uh, aromatics. Maybe not that. Maybe... Yeah, garlic. Garlic and ginger. Toast... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Toast both the... Let's just see. Cumin, shallots. Maybe... 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 Cumin... And... See. Uh, it's seeds, not grains. Can't count the number of times I've woken up to this sound, though. Oh, it's smelling so good. Oh, I can read this part easily. Next, add red leaves and green chiles. Mm, maybe... Maybe green leaves and red chiles. 
Uh, I'll some my words for red and green switch around. Now the next step. Add mince blank and crushed ch ginger garlic. Mince shallots. Crushed ginger and garlic. That's so good. It's usually around this time Amma has me waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. Gives out water. First add blank that creates water, then add water itself. Tomatoes. Or tomatoes. Frying it seems to release a lot of water. Then the tamarind water. And that's what the tamarind water is for. Deal with this says, but only two ingredients left, so add blank and blank to taste. Rush some powder and salt. <coughs> All the stuff just laying around on the table, too. It smells really taking me back. I'm almost upset because of the phone call she got from home. Probably when your grandma died? Would be my guess. Uh, that doesn't look right. I think I remember now. Sorry, Appa. Sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. N no, no. It's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Oof. Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. I'll get the water in first. Keep going. Whoa, that looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. And should we even feature this in the show? The corporation's going to start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Okay, last step. You just have to mix these together, I suppose. Rossum's usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool. Wow. Now Chris will describe this to the team. Exotic take on a chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Gross. That looks great, Alma. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Alma. Alma, why are you sad? It's nothing. Did I do something wrong? No, no, Kana, not at all. I just, I heard from home. Your grandmother, Alma loves her a lot, but sometimes people have to leave and go far away. 
Amu will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? What happened to everyone? I won't leave you, Amu. Or Appa. Any recipe updates? Humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. Oh, he was wearing his dad's glasses. Yeah, I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Kevin. Listen. All about temperature control with Dosa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. And it's done. Easy, right? Yeah, for you, another disaster coming up. like a crate. Did everything right. Almost. Let's see if I can figure it out. I I don't I think I waited too long. Or I didn't wait long enough rather. Oh my god. I did it. Good job. Ready to try something harder? Ready to try Uttapam now? The dosa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables. Ooh, it's like the pizza one, right? It's all the toppings. Hey, they're speaking in Tamil. Not really, though.
Tamil. Okay, now the top bits. I have to add all of them? But you can just add whatever you like. Everyone's with the pen is different. Just make sure to add ghee first. Ah, ghee. Okay, what we got? We got onions, green chiles, carrots. We'll do flipping all of it, dude. Onions, carrots, green chiles, and some idli powder. I told you it's easy. I haven't made this in a while. This was your Appa's favorite. Kari dosa is dosa with mincemeat? Yes, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Water. Lower. Dosa powder. Not me thinking I can smell food cooking in real life. Good job, Kevin. Now we can start adding the curry toppings. Like with the pan, you want to add the ghee first, then add the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual curry and finish it with coriander. Ghee. Beaten eggs. Oh, that's coriander. Sorry. Coriander. Bump the heat. Grab the flipper. Starts to brown. Do the thing. Then wait for an uh, indeterminate amount of time and uh, grab the thing again. Another one down. That's fun. Yes, it really is. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dosa restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. There were restaurants that can serve doses like this back there. You wouldn't have missed home so much and left. Huh. I can't... Oh, well, he brought the mask. I came here for more than just dosas, Kevin. Oh, yeah, of course. I was just joking. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, no, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do this one. Do it this one time at least. Sure, Kevin. Successfully finish cooking the dosas. I'm up. I have something to show you. This is Alma's recipe book. You've been using it? Wait, I, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? And you wrote in Tamil? This is great, Calvin. Is this all the research for that show you're writing? No, Alma. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I... I couldn't write what they wanted. I can't just write about dosas, saris, and musicals. Lives are more messy than that. Sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it has people like me. I acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting to meal when it is convenient for me. There's a job on the line? I couldn't deal with it. You're being unfair to yourself. It's true, Ama. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. 
Every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. I always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much it, I must have hurt you. And Hoppa. So sudden. I always thought there'd be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. I'm writing today, it's because of him. Still just trying to catch up to him. not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me, and even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. People, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving. I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It's been suffocating for you. Or Pavalon. Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Alma. How long are you staying for? Oh no, Alma. This is nice. What about you? You think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kana. This is really nice. That's Bemba. Oh, I'm not. I didn't even cry, dude. I don't know what you mean. There was a couple times I got a little teary eyed. But. That's cute. That's not at all what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Two games in one night? We're rolling. Next game! Next game! No. No. It's bedtime, dude. There it is. What's the third one? The third one is Sleep Simulator. Um, I'll see you in Dreamland, guys. Pop Agenda. Yeah. Hitting them honk shoes. I have not played before your eyes. What's that one? Okey-dokey. Send me the link on Discord.
IQ want to play it. First person narrative adventure which tells the story of a soul's journey into the afterlife using new and innovative form of interactive interaction. Your real life blinks. What? Okay, wait, hold up. Go and watch the trailer for this. That you can remember today. That is pretty cool. Skybound so games. My arm's getting tired. That's pretty neat. That might be that. That looks fun. Oh, it's seventy percent off right now. I might be grabbing that. Not on stream, but I might be grabbing that. How'd I do on a... Uh, I missed five achievements. What did I miss? Launch a crumbling puta. Oh, pu puta. Not that. Putu. Get every recipe without messing up once. And I did Steam doesn't let me see hidden achievements because they hate me. He <laughs> am looking but I'm about to buy it, I'm gonna lie. Three dollars? Hell yeah. Okie dokie. Here. Oh, well, we can stop that. Oh, well, thank you all so much for hanging out. Um, who are we going to raid out to? It's a sleepy time. Uh, you can do a marshmallow event. I'm doing Demon Souls. Or 8-Bit Tigger doing Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. Or Uneducated Possum doing Visage. What are we feeling? You don't have to do that. <laughs> Why? Why are you people nice to me? I don't deserve it. Thank you. No. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> um. What kind of vibes are we feeling? Received a gift from Misfit. Accept. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It might be uh, the next floating game. So, like, uh, either Monday or Wednesday. It might just be a one off, but. Thank you. I appreciate you. Super short and super sad. Great, just like Bimba. Install that. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I am thinking of raiding. I think I'm raiding Eight Bit Ticker. He's playing Oracle of Seasons. I have chill vibes. Ah, we don't want to see that. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you for the raid, Shiki. Thank you, Misfit, for buying new game for me. Did not have to do that. Thank you, Dest, for the biddies. Um, I might be back tomorrow, depending on how tomorrow night goes. Um, if not, I'll be back on Friday with more control. 
Um, and then I don't know what's going on Sunday. No, well, Sunday is my mom's birthday, so probably nothing Sunday. Probably nothing Monday. Uh, so then I'll be back on Tuesday with some persona. But until then, thank you all so much for hanging out. Please enjoy the rest of your day and or night. Please remember to be kind to one another. And I'll see you all in the next one. Until then. Bye-bye.